Hi, so I'm going to be doing a review for Season 2, Episode 2 of Daredevil today. Um, so, I love this episode too, it's so good. Um, so good. Matt. Matt needs to take care of himself. Take care of yourself, Matt. Makes me kind of sad. That he's not taking care of himself. But, you know, let's move on from that. Um, we already know. We already knew that. Um, Matt is... <laughs> he's fighting the Punisher, even though he probably shouldn't, because he's not in, like, not doing well right now. But he's fighting him anyway, and... <sighs> epically losing kind of because he probably shouldn't even be fighting him right now because he needs like he needs to let his body recover from what happened but you know um and you get to see like how foggy knowing that matt and Daredevil like affects him which is kind of interesting foggy looked so sad it was, it was actually really, it was really sad. Oh, he looked so sad when he, Matt wasn't there. Oh, he looked so sad. Foggy sad makes me sad. But it was, it was well done. And, um, we got to learn more about the biker dude. And, um, he also kind of is a little weird. But, you know, we learned more about him, which was cool. And we got to learn that the other people that Foggy and Karen are working with probably aren't the best because they're using their client as bait for the Punisher and we have to learn more about the Punisher in this episode and I, I'm i actually liking the Punisher. <sighs> Is he as good as Fisk? No, but maybe I'll like him like as the season goes on because this episode made me like him as a villain a little bit more. Um... But Fisk was just such a good villain, and I don't know if there will ever be one that's better than Fisk. Um, so, kind of like with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., how I don't think there will ever be a villain that's better than Ward. Um, but yeah, it was it was good. It, this episode um, was good. It had a lot of, like, it, this is, like, it was kind of dark. Um, which, like, the show always is, but it's kind of dark, but, like, was it gruesome? So, um, I don't know if, like, maybe it comes on later, but a lot of people said that this show was gonna be, like, extremely dark, like, really, really dark, and yeah, some of it was, and some of it I have to fast forward through, because I can't, I, I don't want to watch that, but, um, most of it is just fine, so there's only been, like, two parts that have been a little like okay I saw that <laughs> but um and even yeah even that it's not bad it's just hot I get scared very easily <laughs> so um but yeah I really I'm loving this season so far it's so fun and <sighs> we get to see like you get to see Karen kind of become her own person and like Bef the first part was kind of like it was a f this first season was kind of like a foggy Karen like team up thing and now we are getting to like have Karen be her own independent person and character and like we get to learn more about Karen as a character and not Karen as a part of the team which is really cool I'm really liking that um and then of course Matt is great as always um his fight scene with Punisher was really really cool at the end um and I'm interested to see like because of what happened in this episode with the fight if maybe he'll stop fighting through as much as he was in season one or what's gonna happen because he probably should but knowing that he probably won't stop until he like literally cannot do it anymore um so but yeah this was a really good episode. Like I said, loved the Punisher. Um, Karen was great. Foggy was great. Matt was great. Really excited to see where this season goes, but it was a really good time, and I would highly recommend the show to anyone. Go watch Daredevil. It's on Disney+. Plus. 
It's so good. Okay, so that's it with that. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I love you all. Stay present and please stay safe. Bye, guys.